Yeah. Uh, so, hey guys, um, I'm Kevin. Uh, it's been a while since me and Investing Hustler made a video. Uh, I thought we'd do a subject on Mad Men. Uh, the, there's a lawsuit going on with Mad Men, and we would like your opinion in the comments down below about the whole lawsuit. What you think we, uh, this guy actually has a lawsuit on his hand, or you think he just kind of it's a money grab and just wants more money from Mad Men? From my perspective of watching the video, I think they just want more money from Mad Men, but that's just my opinion. So, do you, do you have the video to play? That's yeah, I'm just getting the video ready to play because the link you sent me, it's uh, telling me to go to another link. So, okay, you uh, can. I have the video like right in front of me right now. All right, so then just press the share button. Okay, share. Okay. And then press the video, and then you can share it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this one I think. Oh wait, no, it's green. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, so, you do you see it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start it from the beginning. I can't really hear it. We say the cannabis retailer is breaching fiduciary duty, and now we're just. Yeah, I'm, I'm not hearing it. It's it's there's no sound at all now. Whoops. Uh, how do I exit the uh, the share? Uh, just press uh sh it? stop share, I think. All right, I see it. Okay. I guess you uh you can do the sharing because you can't hit on on my side. Why it's not it's not working for you? Oh, well, it's working for me. I can hit normally, but I don't know. You said you can hit, right? Yeah. Um. Well, it's it's just very quiet. Um. And is that the loudest you can put it? Yeah, I, I maxed it out. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I can set my audio louder. Okay. Yeah, I, I set it to hundred percent on my audio. So let's see if this works now. Uh, you want me to share again? Yeah, you could do that. <clears throat> I'm going to try this other option right here. If you would, it's, it's fairly complex. We don't take action often. Um, we feel that uh, we're very much backed into a corner. And the only way that we could find a way for shareholders, including ourselves, uh, to be treated properly was to take action. And uh, as my partner at Inception likes to say, actions speak louder than words. Um, to outline a little bit of the grievances, you know, I, I think if this were not a, a cannabis company, um, and we just look at this from a regular corporate standpoint, mm -hmm. if you take a step back and um, you, are, uh, you, you throw together a whole bunch of companies into a roll-up, you do run the risk of having a number of conflicts, um, and corporate governance needs to be outlined pretty clearly from the get-go. Now, the problem is when you have a whole bunch of entities that are rolled up into one mm -hmm. um, that are controlled uh, by the same people that control the mothership, okay. um, you, you do end up with uh, a, a need for governance. And if that isn't addressed, you know, that can lead to all sorts of avenues, one of which you know, we are seeing now. The additional problem with that is when those people who control the outcomes and the benefits to any of these entities at their whim, um, we, you know, shareholders are left in a situation where they're sort of given, uh, they're, they're very much treated um, uh, at whatever, in whatever way that those people who control all four entity, entities want to treat them. Um, and in this case, the people that are 
managing those entities, all the same ones uh, who have vested interest in all of those entities are able to pick and choose who the winners and who the beneficiaries are of, uh, of value or, 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 or anything else, uh, uh, to be fair. Now, so one way um, MedMen are characterizing this, they say that you're alleging that you're being unfairly prevented from cashing out of your interest. Um, is that a, way, a fair way to characterize it? So um, as part of our suit, um, we uh, filed on behalf of everyone, uh, every investor in one of the rolled up entities that we are a shareholder of. So when they say that we are looking to be uh, treated specially, that is patently false. Okay, you say your, your action is on behalf of all shareholders. Of, 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 of the entity we are the share, we are shareholders of. Okay. So uh, there are a number of entities that have been rolled up that are controlled by the mothership, um, uh, which is the public company. Mm -hmm. And such, um, we, we fall under uh, one of those companies, um, which has not been issued shares. Uh, again, their statement did say uh, that all of the three companies rolled up were given their shares, we would not be in this position today if that were actually true. And what you, you argue that the CEO of MedMen, Adam Bierman, and the president, Andrew Modlin, are making decisions arbitrarily that, uh, without, without reflecting the interests of all investors involved. Well, I think you have here uh, a larger issue. I think um, if you take this away from um, MedMen as a company and you look at the industry as a whole, you're moving uh, an, an industry that has been moving at lightning speed and is coming into the light. And governance is playing catch up today. Um, you have a situation where people uh, had private companies and before that they had um, illegal companies actually, depending on the jurisdiction that they were in. Um, you have a, a situation where you know, you do not have the same level of institutional discipline uh, and the, um, the infrastructure necessarily uh, in place to have great procedures to adhere to corporate governance. This industry has a huge opportunity in front of it. Um, it needs to adapt, and my hope is that it will. In our particular case, uh, as I've been told, Hope was not a strategy, so we have to take action. But the industry is one that has so much opportunity in front of it, mm -hmm. but it needs to harbor, it needs to engender a safe place for capital to come in, mm -hmm. to feel that they can trust the companies and management with their investments um, in order to unlock that value. You need to be able to do that for the industry and the leaders of this industry need to do it for shareholders in order to allow this industry to grow and to truly become mainstream, which is what MedMen's catchphrase is, to yeah. mainstream marijuana. Uh, uh, we'll just leave you the final, uh, leave me with the final thought here, if you would. Now, you are, uh, your ally in this action is uh, Brent Cox, a former board member at MedMen, so obviously somebody with some standing. Um, MedMen have said in their release, I know you've seen it, Mr. Mangal, Mr. Mangalji and Mr. Cox have already received cash distributions representing a complete return of their capital, plus a substantial gain. Uh, is that correct? Uh, I uh, unfortunately I can't go in. Okay, st oh, stop right there. You you heard that? Um yeah, I've been I've been paying attention. Okay, uh you heard that where they said that men men offered to pay back everything that they they invested into them plus a uh, big interest, and then can they comment to that? And that guy is like kind of like eh eh, you know, like he's sidestepping the whole thing. Yeah, um, I'm actually just reading up on this. I, I guess the, the the MedMen facing potential class action lawsuit is from former employees. The, their former employees are suing MedMen. Is that what's happening? No, or this th guy is suing MedMen. This and guy, the former used to be CFO, sues cannabis firm MedMen. Yes. So, he so, used he used to be the CFO of Madman. He owned he he owned an interest in Madman, and Madman offered to pay him out, and he said no, and then now he's suing them. 
Hmm. Well, he's not really giving us, telling us exactly why. Um, the reason that- why is because I think he, uh, my friend thinks that, like my friend watched this too. He thinks that um, this guy wants more money from Men Men. Men Men gave them an he gave him an offer to just mm-hmm. like completely leave the company, and he said no. And uh, now he's suing them so he can get, I think, to get more money from, from Batman. And the lawsuit is for $20 million, by the way. So it's, it's not much because they just got $250 million. So they can easily absorb that cost. But this guy, he seems like he even says that, he says that the biggest problem in Mad Men is cor- corporate governance. And because of that, money is not allowed. Money won't go into Mad Men, but they just received two hundred fifty million dollars. But this was a an old video, so I mean, like he's wrong, right? He says that this video, uh, it is on Jan. Uh, I don't know exactly, but it was I think in like October two thousand. No, wait, November. I think sometime in November of two thousand eighteen. I just don't know the exact date because there's no exact date on this. Uh, oh, right here. January 11, 2019. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is the reason why uh, Mad Men stock has been acting really funny. But then, uh, you know, uh, just recently they received $250 million. So now if this came, if this came in the court again, he, Mad Men can't absorb the cost because they just received a ton of money. Yeah, but you know, I still think this is complete like ball, right? I, that's what I think. I don't know. You want to listen to the rest or no? Yeah, we can listen to the rest. Oh okay. yeah. Only- it's a lot of details because there is ongoing litigation. But you know, when someone invests in a business, irrespective of what their returns may or may not be, mm-hmm. you, you have to you have to acknowledge when there is ownership of assets, and in this case, there are shares. Those are rightfully the shareholders. There needs to be governance put in place today at this company that prevents conflicts, that prevents decisions being made in the interest and the self-interest of management Mm -hmm. in order to benefit the shareholders and also to give them what is rightfully theirs. Um, just broadly beyond governance, could you just give us your brief thoughts? Are you happy with the way Mad Men, Mad Men, is, Mad Men, Mad Men itself is being run? Are you happy with the operations of the company apart from the governance uh, complaints Look, you have? I, I want to be very clear. We are a huge supporter of the company. Okay. We have been there since before anyone knew what Mad Men was. We wrote Adam a check. Um, to pay his expenses as good faith when we initially did a deal with him. We are huge supporters of their vision. We're huge supporters of um, what we think they can achieve. We want them to continue to be a leader in this space, but to truly be a leader in this space, they need to get the governance right. They need to make sure that shareholders are treated properly so capital can come into this business not just into the industry, but for them to grow in order for them to really unlock their potential. Okay, and I'm just looking at the stock here. It's all the Canadian Securities Exchange uh, between four and five right now. It did get up to $9 in October, but of course a lot of the marijuana stocks Mm -hmm. climbed. And it's pretty well trading where it was last summer, so it's held its own. Omar, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Of course. Omar, Thank you so much for having me. Omar Mangalji, a partner and co-founder at the Inception Companies and, uh, well, let's say a dissatisfied investor right now in MedMen, unhappy, he says, with the governance structure. Wait, so that's it for the video. Like, what do you think? Like, you think this guy is just after money? I don't know. I just find it funny how he's suing them and then he's saying how he believes in the company and... um. I, I don't really understand his reason for suing them. I try to do some research, but as you could see here, MedMen started dropping almost uh, immediately on November 8th. And then uh, this video came out on December and we've seen it hit January. December. January this- 11th. Oh, okay. Uh, well, this article here came out December 6th, marijuana retailer MedMen facing potential class action lawsuit. So oh. that came 
on December 6th. And that's when MedMen um, had that huge drop that went all the way as low as $3. And, and Oh, I, I didn't know that. So they have another lawsuit uh, for employees? Yeah, it says here, marijuana retailer MedMen facing potential class action lawsuit from former employees. One of the biggest names in cannabis retail. So here it says... Um, oh, failed to pay employees uh, appropriately under California law. Wow, yeah, so, so they, they didn't pay them properly. But when I look on the MedMen site, it's kind of strange because they, they treat the employees so well. Like they have the unionized, they, gave, they give them full benefits and they give them stock options. Yeah. Well, so, very, and, then, and, then the, and then the video you just showed me is from the former CFO, Sue's cannabis firm, MedMen, alleging breach of contract or other misdeeds. And that was published on January 31st, which yeah. was around here. It actually didn't affect the stock too much. Because it already was down so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've seen, I guess those were the October highs. We've seen the October highs because of the hype. And then, and then I guess ever since those allegations or MedMen dropped all the way down to $3. Yeah, I, I, the only reason why it's popping right now is because of that $250 million deal. That's what I think. Well, it's not really popping. It's well, uh, it, it's popped like it's below three, like th it was 365, right? Not too long ago. And now it's like at least four dollars and thirty eight cents. So that's a huge difference between its low and high from just recently. Yeah. So I, I think it's it's not popping, but uh, it, I mean like the market is kind of acting volatile right now. So you know there's sell offs, but um, I don't know. Like, what do you think of this lawsuit? You think this law? Like, you think that they have merit? You think they are actually gonna win this? The, the employee thing, I think it's going to be very small. It's like probably a couple million dollars at, at most if, you know, the employees actually sue Mad Men. And well, I don't think it's going to affect the company too much because ever since those lawsuits, you could see here um, the first one by the employees was on December 16th. It already had a huge drop and then immediately pushed forward. And ever since that, we've kind of been trading sideways We've been trading uh, in between four, almost five dollars and um, three fifty as a support. We've been trading in between these lines because, as you can see here, um, let me just zoom in so I could show you guys a little better. So, because as you can see here, ever since those losses, we've pretty much just been trading in between these lines. So, I don't think it's gonna affect MedMen anymore. If it does, it might just create another buying opportunity. And I do think eventually MedMen could push forward. Right now, they, I think they are undervalued as a company. Let's, let's take actually, yeah, their price to sales is still a little high at 42. But when you compare that to companies like Aurora, Canopy, Kronos, um, Tilray, it's, uh, it's more undervalued, I would say. I don't, I don't know. Do, do you think the, um, the lawsuits, the prices are already baked in with all those allegations? Or do you think MedMen can go even lower? No, I don't think Mad Men will go any lower, but uh, like it's the stock market. Some bad news could come out anytime. Uh, the entire weed market could crash and drag Mad Men along with it. Right? Like I'm just saying like Aurora, Canopy, everything it just fall like big time. Like usually there's like a summer correction and I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but I'm thinking stocks will eventually have to correct itself. So... I'm thinking that, you know, there's a possibility, you know, the market falling could drag Mad Men back down to $3.65. I do own a lot of shares. Uh, so disclosure, I, I own 106,000 shares. So I do own a lot of shares. So, I mean, it's going to hurt me like hell if it drops down there, but it'd be like, a, am not a financial advisor, but it would be a buying opportunity. In my opinion, I would be buying a lot more if it goes down to that price. Right now, I'm kind of swing trading slash holding it long term. So today, I bought, I managed to buy some Mad Men stock at uh, four dollars and fifteen cents, and then I sold it when it it went back to four dollars and forty three cents. That's like a forty one cents. That's like a five percent return. That that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, um, definitely. If it goes right here, this line right here is a support at three sixty. 
I would definitely be considering picking up shares if it went that low again. It's not it's not going to be surprising if it does. We've seen them go that low at least one, two, three yeah, times. But there has to be some really bad news, I think, in order for it to get down there. Or either that or the ca- entire cannabis market has to give, like, crash, basically, in my well, opinion. It was, it was there on March 11th, and it wasn't some really bad news. What, why was it down there on March 11th? Uh, there was, uh, the earnings came out and they, they lost six, $66 million. Uh, wow. and, uh, that's probably the reason why, cause they lost so much money, uh, wow. on that, uh, that earnings report. And then ever since they got their $250 million, the stock is, you know, ran from that 365 and up. So. Cause, uh, I own MedMen. This line right here is the price that I own MedMen at, which is at three, at 373. I own MedMen. So anything below this line, I'll be tempted to buy MedMen. Obviously I have very little shares of MedMen because, um, I pretty much sold and collected most of my profit around here. So, yeah. um, I mean, I, I could sell out of my position because my position right now is at $4 and 30, $4 and 40 cents. So, I mean, I'm like barely profitable, but I could sell and then gamble for it to go back down here. But I honestly don't believe that it, it will go back down there, but I'm not going to bet my life on it. But, you know, there's a possibility. There's always a possibility in the stock market, but mm. uh, I'm going to, if it goes down there, I'll buy more. Like I'll, I'll definitely buy more. I already have a hundred thousand shares. I'll definitely, if it goes down there, I might have 150,000 shares. So... Yeah, well, MedMen technical analysis is a sell buy and a strong buy. The one day is a buy buy buy. We've had a couple of rough days in the market, and it's still been holding its its uh, resistance line up here. So, I would I would I would like to see MedMen break past four seventy five. Uh, would you be collecting profits if it goes up above four seventy five, or are you holding long term? So my my plan my strategy is. If I have more than 100,000 shares, let's say if I had 110,000 shares or 120,000 shares, then I would sell off those shares, but I will always keep 100,000 shares as my core position and I will never sell that off. But I will always buy if it dips and then resell if it goes up as long as it's over 100,000 shares. So if it's like 110, I'll get rid of that 10,000 shares of profit. So your but 100,000 I'm, is pretty much your core position. In it's my core long-term position. I will never sell below 100,000 shares, not at these prices. I do believe that, just my opinion, not financial advisor, I do believe that Mad Men one day will have its day and it could go back to eight or nine dollars. I'm not saying it will, but you know, it could have its day one day. could. Yeah, that would be nice to see it go all the way back up here again. Um, definitely, we'd have to see these allegations like put it like behind them no longer be an issue for them because as long as that's that's going to haunt them for as long as um this news keeps coming up but it, it hasn't been recently brought up the the most recent news of medmen uh being sued i think was uh on february 24th which is fast growing pot sellers medmen faces lawsuit by former insider so they just keep randomly bringing it up but it's, it's pretty old news by now. I guess they just need to get that over with. No, uh, honestly, because of the, because like right there, uh, seeking at least $19.8 million in damages. You just skipped it. But, uh, oh, oh so, uh, right here? You have to oh. go back. Yeah, see at the bottom right there, it says, yeah. yeah, they are seeking at least $20 million in damages because of the, because of the, the two hundred fifty million dollars that they got, I believe that is yeah. they can easily absorb that cost. So yeah, that's nothing. They have a market cap of two point two five billion. They have five hundred, almost five hundred million in assets. They don't have that much debt. Seventy nine million in debt. So twenty million wouldn't really affect them too much. Yeah, especially since they got two hundred fifty million dollars not too long ago. That's less than ten percent of what they um they, they just received. Acquired. Yeah. But this could also drag into court for years. So by the time it settles, Madman could be a way bigger company. Yeah. Well, either way, um, I'm probably collecting profits around uh, anything above this line. I want to collect profits above 475. 
anything below 473, I will be picking up MedMen. I mean, 373, sorry. And, uh, and yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing MedMen go back down to these lows. I wouldn't mind. If everybody, honestly, everybody wants it to go down that low. That's why I honestly don't believe it will. But I could totally be wrong, though. I, I'd like, it's, the, it's market mindset. If everybody wants something, it, it tend not to happen. But yeah. I don't know. Well, I, I'm, I I'm going to have cash on the side. So if it does go that, that down there, I would be a big buyer down there. I would love to have some shares at the all-time low. You know, like that is basically all-time lows, right? Uh, three, yeah. 373 is pretty much all time lows. So, we can look and see if they, it is maybe in the IPO, the IPO that uh at a cheaper, I guess, yeah, it is all time lows. You it's pretty hear? much, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's like maybe 10 cents or 20 cents off. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. I mean, well, that'd be great if it goes down there, yeah. but I'm not going to gamble. Uh, I'm not going to gamble the stock price going down there, but I would, you know, I would love to buy down there. That's why I have ca- I have dry powder on the side just in case that scenario does happen. Right here, it's saying that MedMen's uh fifty two week low is at thirteen cents. No, that's impossible. I don't know why it's saying that. This is an American company or a Canadian company. MedMen is the is one of the biggest uh, U.S. companies. Uh, they have thirty two operational stores. In the United States, and they operate in 12 states, and they have about 800,000 square feet of growing space to grow their cannabis. So they're ver- ver- vertically integrated. They sell their products in their own Madman stores, and on top of that, they grow their own products. So whenever they sell uh, their own branded products, they get about 80% gross margins. But when they sell like a third-party product, they get about 50% gross margins. Sorry, I done so much research on this, so I, I kind of know a lot. Yeah, no, but that's good. Um, either way, I I don't know. It's kind of weird that it says that here on the fifty-two week range. It says thirteen cents as its fifty-two week low. Yeah, man, I would love to buy at thirteen cents. Uh, that would be ridiculous. I don't think it. I I think it's a a a mess up because this never hit thirteen cents before. I uh, I po at like four dollars and fifty cents, I believe, in mm -hmm. like May of two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, this video has been long enough. You wanna, you wanna card or? Yeah, we could end it. Um, either way, guys, uh, don't forget this is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes. Uh, just because we're saying we're buying MedMen, or just because we we want to buy at a certain price, doesn't mean you should do it. Make sure you always do your own due diligence. Uh, don't forget to to like this video and subscribe to me and to Cyberworld Seven. And um, that's it for now, guys. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm gonna end off with my my closing. So, uh, th- like I, like I said, I this purpose of this video is to get you guys' opinion on the lawsuit. We want to know what you think about the about Mad Men suing. Uh, s- sorry about the former CFO suing Mad Men for twenty million dollars. We want to know your thoughts on the on the whole thing. Is you know do, does this guy have merit or is this guy gonna actually sue Mad Men? What's the scenario? Is this lawsuit going to break Mad Men? Like, we want to know your thoughts, even if it's negative or it's positive. We just want to know what your opinion. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.